Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I recently went down to the ReStore and found some extension cords. Well, they were a buck a piece. They're short ones, but short ones have a, a use all of their own. You can extend a tool just here in the shop. You don't need to drag out 50 feet of extension cord just to gain an extra couple of feet. But this one's missing the cord cap. It still works, but I kind of like to have the ground. This one doesn't have a ground. It's only a standard two conductor plug and outlet. So these will only have limited use. But before I get started on doing any repair work to the cords, I'm going to make sure that the cords are in good condition. I'll risk a dollar, but there's no point putting a cord cap on it if the wire's broken in a dozen places. There's a trick to finding out if there's a broken wire in an extension cord. You can also track down exactly where the break is. This extension cord has been hanging around here for a while. Uh, it stopped working and I thought, well, okay, when I get a chance, I'll fix it. This is also only a two prong, but for some jobs like running an extension to just plug in a light, it's plenty. Lights don't always have grounding plugs on them. And if you only need a two wire, two wire is fine. The thing you need to do the tracing is an, a little item that you can pick up at a hardware store or Menards or Lowe's, uh, most of the big box hardware stores. This one is made by Ideal. It's the Ideal Volt Sensor. You can look it up at www.testersandmeters.com. This is a category three, 600 volt, 400 to 600 VAC, volts AC. And what this little thing does is kind of a scientific magic thing. It picks up the magnetic field around a wire. Now, even if there's no current flowing through the wire, just having the potential there means that there's electrons leaking out of the wire in, a, in the form of a magnetic field. So this will pick that up. You press in on this little clip. And if there's current there, it's going to beep. Now the easiest way to find the break is start at the plug end.
there's a break in the wire. Conductor's broken. Now sometimes these can be intermittent. If I push the wires back together again, it'll work. That's why it's hard to find a, a break in the wire. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well this one's pretty simple. The wire is actually cut in two. But sometimes the conductor is just broke in the middle of the wire. That's when this thing comes in real handy. So now, since this one has just got a break in it, just got a, a cut in the wire, I can splice that back together again. And here's another bare spot in the wire. Looks like somebody dropped something on this at some point and cut it. So I'm going to just clip out the two bad spots and put one splice in it. So this was a little more work than what I expected, but not bad. Mostly because I used too small an e-shrink tube. You want to make sure it slides over the wire easily. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.